wrote, directed, and produced a feature film called Burning Kentucky. Well, I'm an indie filmmaker, so I'm from Kentucky, and I was acting for years in LA, and I just didn't want to wait for people to give me a job, so I made my own job. So I raised the money, and I wrote the project, and then I got it done. I will never forgive anything that happened that night. I would say directing's all about having relationships with every single person that's there, and making them your family and making sure that everyone's happy, everyone feels the creative mojo on set. It's pretty fantastic, actually. I get an offer from these guys to join them in their, in their party, and I read the script and wanted to talk to Bethany. And then while, she, while she's telling me this story, I'm like, okay, so I'm in, because I'm not going to be the ghoul who wrecks this party. And that's how I got on board. John Piper Ferguson we knew was probably too good for us. <laughs> and when he arrived on set, you could see like I had like a young crew. And when John Piper got on the set, we were all like, okay, get it together. He's here. As we grew and kept connecting over the project, you know, uh, I felt comfortable with her enough to express my ideas and, and any way I, I could, you know, and lend some help and support. And so, once we brought it back to uh, to Los Angeles, where we both were living, uh, I you know just signed on and I was like uh, you know I'm I want to edit this thing, I want to bring it to life, and uh, I want to help you see your vision through. It's a really humble project that came from really beautiful beginnings, and she brought all these amazing people together that share so much now uh, after the project. It changed every single person's life uh, involved with it. And uh, I think that's a huge testament, not only to Bethany, not only to the story, but also, of course, filmmaking in general. And uh, it, was a, it was a privilege to be a part of. What did you